what I've done so, from everything that that you've shown me. Yes. I tabulated my workout routine yeah. and did that religiously for three months. In the While fall. you were gone? No, this was just preparing. Oh, preparing to leave. I call it. I call it prehab. Yes. All the exercises that I did for surgeries and the things you've done for my back and my neck, I compile them into like twenty uh, exercises. So you started coming back to see us in last April, right? Yes. April, April through December. Yes. But, but Steve, tell us when you first started coming to see us. Uh, when you were on. Is that 20, 28 West Pennsylvania Avenue. 28 Avenida. West Pennsylvania Avenue. With Dr. Adolph. Well, Dr. Adolph uh -huh. was my chiropractor. Right. And then the new guy comes in. Yeah, you know, a time ago, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, and, that, um, was, that was 32 some odd years ago. Yeah. 32 plus years ago. Yeah. 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 And uh, it's been a road. It's definitely been a road, and right. uh, you've really taken this practice to to another level. Yeah, everything and, I see here today. And when you were when you were sitting out there before you came back, there was another gentleman I hadn't seen for a while. Yeah, yeah. And and he's from that old brigade too, from way yep. back when there too. Yeah, so. you should go in and chat and, with him. I said, "How'd you find me?" He goes, <laughs> "I never lost track of you." Right. Yeah. yeah. So, so 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 you're pretty active, right? You're retired now, oh, right? Yeah, yeah. I've spent yeah. six months in a tent over right. the past nine. So we worked from April to. December. December and then I took off. Why did you? Come, so I hadn't seen you for a while. Why did you come back in today? No, no, before before you were going oh, on your trip. I, I had some problems with my back and my neck. My neck, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's it's you know on, on my travels. I would say a month ago, my back just started giving me a little bit of trouble, and then I moved a rug when I got back home, and and I felt my back go out, and I said, you know, I got to go back. Number one is to tell you thanks for this whole routine that you've set up for right, me, right, and right. two. It's been successful. And three, let's do it again because I yeah. want to travel to the southwest in, in the desert for next winter. So tell everybody how he travels. What, what you have a van? I've got a high roof van uh -huh. that has a 12 foot uh, space in the back where I put my kayak. Okay, okay. It has an emergency fold down bed, a marine battery. And okay. I just pull the tent out, set it up. Lake, river. It's my lake house on wheels. Do you, do you have a bike you travel with, a motor no, scooter? No, 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 no bikes. No bikes? No, no okay, bikes okay. Because of my knees. So, so you spend a lot of time on the water? Yeah, on the water and, and hiking. And, and how many places have you? Have you been to every state in the country? I haven't bothered to check. Uh -huh. on, this, on this last tour, the three month one, to uh -huh. Pacific, Atlantic to the Pacific, I was at 40 camps. Atlantic National, Pacific. Yeah, national parks, state parks, provincial parks. I spent a month in Canada. Awesome. And um, a lot of time around the Great Lakes. This is a beautiful area. And mosquitoes, oh man, you think the Everglades are bad? Yeah. Go to Minnesota. <laughs> <laughs> in August. I know it's so, a lot. Do you put more miles on your kayak or more miles on your van? Uh, more your miles on the van, definitely. Yeah. Definitely, because I would go from place to place, stay two, three, four nights in yeah. national parks, Crater, Yellowstone, Tetons, Olympic, yeah. North Cascades, Oregon Dunes. You know, it was just place after That's place. That's epic, man. That's yeah. epic. Yeah, yeah. So what brings you back in today? Uh, numerous things. I uh -huh. wanted to get back into a routine. Mm -hmm. I just went to the gym, started mm -hmm. doing those exercises again. Okay. The back is bothering me a little bit. My neck is a little stiff to the left. Mm -hmm. So I thought it'd be good to okay. come back, just get back into the routine because I'm here for a couple of weeks and I'm back out to the Appalachians for two to three or four weeks. But I'll be able to roll with it. Going into winter is a good time okay. for me to get into. So the Appalachian Trail? Yeah, I'll be on that, but I'll be in the Appalachian Mountains mostly. But you won't be kayaking then? Yeah, sure I won't. Will you be? Yeah, there's a state park, a Virginia right state park that has a nice lake. And then there's just the North Fork of the Shenandoah yeah, that yeah. I do every year or two. It's like a 12-mile float. Is it really? Yeah, around Front Row. That's awesome. Uh, uh, Warren, my youngest son, who works here in the office, just did a whitewater rafting trip up at uh, in, uh, in Deep Creek, you know. Oh yeah, yeah. They got the game. River. Oh, we yeah, wanted the savage. savage. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So they had a lot of fun. They oh, lot of fun. Wild. So go ahead and stand here for me, Steve. I just want to because I haven't seen you for a while. Let me see you turn your head to the left for me. Yeah. Does that pinch a little bit at the end? It's a little. Where do you feel it over there? Back, back in. Yeah. Great. Yeah. So Liam, come on behind me. You can see better over this way. So go ahead and, when he gets in position, Steve. Go ahead. And, no, no, you stay there. You're. you're you now turn left again. You've got a better angle there. Yeah. Now go mm -hmm. to the right for me. Okay. So where where do you feel most restricted? Going to the left or going to the right? A little bit to the left. A little bit to the left. Uncomfortable left. 
I, I, I've been living with it. Yep. You know, so, I just notice when I'm when I'm turning and kayaking. Kayaking. Yeah. You yeah, know, the, yeah. The, there's a little stiffness. So most people say they notice it when they're driving. They look over their left shoulder, right shoulder, etc. But yours is more kayaking. <laughs> You worry about I'm someone more, coming, more engaged. You worry about someone coming up behind you. Oh man, those glacial lakes, you don't want to fall over in them. Bend your head backwards all the way, look at the ceiling. How's that feel? Yeah, it's doable. Okay. Now bring yeah. your chin to your chest for me. And how about that? I'm a little tense back up yeah. here. So of those movements, going forward or backwards more uncomfortable? Left. Left is, okay. Yeah. Now from this position go straight back for me. How's that feel when you do that? Crunch, crunch, crunch. Yeah. Now come over this way for me. How about here? Lean back now. Is that a pinch? Yeah, a little bit of pressure side, down. Yeah. Let's do the same thing on this side. Go straight back and then bring it over here. Does that bother you? Not as, Not much, as much, just a little bit in the yeah. you know, basically in the lower back. back here. Let me see you just laterally bend to the left for me like that. Oh, laterally. Yeah. Now come back over to the right for me. Does that pinch at all right there? Yeah, just a little okay. bit on the same. It's yeah. just a little sensitive. So, okay, so slip your glasses off, okay? And we're going to start with... Um, uh, I'm going to drop Steve's neck because this is how we're going to get started with this young whippersnapper. Let me get in beside you, Liam. So I had a, a, a son who graduated from a Navy program this past Friday in San Diego. Oh, yeah, yeah, was, yeah. Was, he's, was, he's, was, he's done, huh? He's done. Good just, for just, him. Let's leave his say he's just done. He graduated on Friday. And then he walked across the street. That was on the Pacific side. He walked yeah. across the street on the Bay side. Yeah. And got married two days later. Oh my goodness! So a lot of big changes for him. Oh, good. And, and his lovely wife. So let your arms relax for me. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, because I've been working with Steve for years. I'm gonna start with using a little bit of a. Uh, this table is a special table. We have a couple of them in the office, and and I think if you've watched our videos, you've you follow this. This has a. a what we call a drop piece, okay? So uh, there's a lever down here, I'm gonna put some tension, and it's up on his face a little bit, his cheeks, and then I'm just gonna lightly find that level that I wanna adjust, and just press down a little bit. And, and Steve, that's pretty comfortable, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. And so I'm gonna add just a little bit more tension to it. And, and there's no rotor, no rotation in it, like what, which I'll demonstrate to you in a second here. And again, li like if you watch our videos, which we're looking for is we're looking for this area that's not moving very well up here, this thoracic spine. And I, yeah, think, I feel and, that. And I think for Steve, a, a lot of his issues in his neck come from this lack of mobility in here. If we showed you how to foam roll this area at all with a foam roller and a pad, there it goes. Ago. Yeah. So, but that, I do, I do have the foam roller out of the garage. Yeah, that would be a good thing for you to reintroduce yourself to. See, and that really moved nicely. Beautiful. Okay, so now we're going to bring it back up, Steve. I want you on this side down and face me this way, please. See, this is why I, that's I'm really, here. I that, mean, just that, getting the roller out and that suggestion, yeah. I mean, that's ideal. Yeah. For, so I think what he, what, I didn't even if, think of if you listen closely, what he's saying is when he, when he gets in trouble, he comes in, but it's the stuff we give you at home that helps you maintain a certain level of fitness and keeps Absolutely. you out of trouble. Yes. And, and you're extremely active. Did your lovely wife join you on any part of this trip? Yeah, she came in in Boise. In Boise. Yeah, where I uh, got a snake out of my truck and replaced. Uh, I got a broken windshield, which I repaired in Tacoma, Washington, three weeks later. Right, right. When I left her, uh -huh. get on the plane back home. So she was with me three what, weeks. What type of snake was it? It's a bull snake. Oh my God. Well, yay. Uh huh. <laughs> Pictures available upon request. <laughs> I changed the. I went to Jiffy Lube to change the. Uh, Oil in the truck. Uh -huh. We had just been in Bruno Dunes State Park in the high desert of Idaho. Uh -huh. So we were in the desert for four days. Uh -huh. So this snake jumped into my truck, probably looking for the rodent that I loaded in Yellowstone. Uh -huh. <laughs> so my buddy gets back into the truck after the uh, uh, after the oil uh -huh. was changed. I'm turning it on. I'm starting to go, and he starts jumping all over the place, screaming, throws the door open. 
and he reaches down between his legs and pulls the snake out and throws it out the door. And I'm all laughing very hard, let's just say that. But the truck is still in gear and I'm trying to get out of the way right. too. <laughs> it was just a great experience. It's a comic. <laughs> this is one of many. So let this nice and loose here for me. Bring this up a little higher. And let that loose. There it goes. Beautiful, my friend. All the way over. And again, that's pretty comfortable, right? Yeah. See, it takes a little bit of force to get him to move. It does. Especially since I'm tight. Yep. I did just come from the gym and try and loosen up things for you. Yeah, that's good. How many days, when you're, when you're not on the road, how many days do you work out a week? Four or five. Four or five. Depending on the weather. Yeah, that's good. And, 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 and an off day, what's an off day consist of? A hike. A hike, yeah. See, so he really is never off. <laughs> He's always, he's constantly moving. I can't stay in the house. Which I think is just the, the, one, of the one of the secrets to longevity is being able to move fairly comfortably, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And, I, and I think that's the role we play in a lot of people's lives, Steve, you know? Mm -hmm. Good job on your back. Yeah, that was good. Yeah. I'm gonna pull his legs. And I think that's just one of the things you do, right? Yep. You get enough sleep. Yeah, it's funny. I got into a, a pattern. Camping is uh -huh. asleep at dark and awake before first light, listening to the <clears throat> nature of the birds and everybody waking up. It's fantastic. I think humanity did that for a long time. Isn't that, right? isn't that something? It's amazing how it works. The thing that really bothers my, me. My is, tent is nicer, though. Uh, we're going to go off into a crazy tangent, but. The way they what they do to these young children who are going to school where they have them up so early in the morning It's mm -hmm. crazy, right? Let them sleep into 8 o'clock mm -hmm. 30 and then go to school from 9 till 4 30 or something like that rather than having on a bus at 6 o'clock in the morning Yeah, I mean, it's yeah. crazy, right? It's crazy. I mean, it's, you, you got you got a clock You got you know, if you have the opportunity yeah. to listen to it. Yeah, you, so you're so, so I, more I, healthy. I always talk about several key things and and one of those is sleep and, and eating the right way and moving and then how you manage stress. And I always put sleep and eating at the top and I'm almost to the point now where I'm based on, my, my wife uh, Megan's a nutritionist, right? And she, mm -hmm. she works in the office and does a great job. But you know, she sort of has said, you know, uh, the way she looks at it, even, even a nutritionist, that sleep might be just right at the top and, and right behind mm -hmm. it is the proper nutrition. I, mm -hmm. I kind of agree with her. So come on over here, we're gonna get that nice and loose. Relax your shoulders. That away, big guy. There's another old timer right there with you. He's been with me forever out there. Love your cumulus clouds. Yeah, show what he's talking about, Liam. And that's soothing, isn't it? He probably feels like you're right there. Right yeah. Anything else you want to share? Nah, just thanks. Yeah. I appreciate all your help. You enjoy the experience here, don't you? I do. Yeah. Always great coming in to see you. It's always great seeing you too. It makes it brings a smile to my face. Hey, take care. I'll see you next week. Keep canoeing. Yeah, man. Thanks, Liam.